Let's move on. 1 p.m. Eastern. Washington Commanders 3-5, and 2-2 two and two on the road at New England Patriots 2-6, and 1-3 and at home at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. 60 Fahrenheit, partly cloudy, 8 miles per hour. So the Commanders were big in the trade deadline today, jettisoning um, Montez Sweat and, of course, Chase Young. Now, we knew that Chase Young was on the outs. So they didn't, you know, they could have signed him in the offseason. He wanted some cash. They didn't give him anything. And, and, when the Denver Broncos cut Randy Gregory, their defense stepped up. It's something that you send a message to everybody. So just the fact that these two guys are gone, in no way for me does that make me think this defense is just going to be give up or, or not care. So I'm still very interested in the commanders here. But let's talk about the line history and the situation here. Jacqueline, thank you for joining us. Happy Halloween. Great to see you. So we have a total right now at 41. Sitting at 41. Most books have 40 and a half. This has gone up from 40 at Pinnacle, from 40 to 41. Then let's go over to the spread just did the total. Let's get over to the uh, spread. So it's gone from 40 to 41. And on the spread, we're sitting here with New England at three and a half or a juice three. Why? Why would they be this big of a favorite? I just, I don't get it. I don't understand why they would. And I don't care. I really don't care that commanders cut under achieving high profile names from their team. On the spread right now, 44% of the tickets, 67% of the cash are on the commanders. On the total, 73% of the tickets, 83% of the cash are on the under, and yet it's going over. The commanders coming off their fifth loss in six games, a 38-31 setback at the Eagles. The offense looked electric. I mean, it looked so good. Sam Howell, 39-52 of for 397 yards, four touchdowns in the pick. Dotson caught eight for 108 in a touchdown. Crowder caught seven for 95 touchdown. Curtis Samuel hurt his toe. Uh, he's day-to-day -day list as questionable. Brian Robinson Jr. ran 10 times for 59 yards, caught two for 20. They were 7 of 12 on third down. That's been an area of struggle for them this year. They're ranked 30th in the league, converting third downs just 33% of the time. They were 2 of 2 in the red zone. They've been very good in the red zone this year, 8th in the league, scoring touchdowns 61.5% of their drives. If only the defense could get stops. So Cody Barton missed his first game of the season. He was put on IR last week, and it hurt them badly. You know, badly, badly. Uh, crucial piece to 60 tackles in the first six weeks of the year. They could not apply pressure on Jalen Hurts. Uh, two sacks, four quarterback hits. They allowed the Eagles to go 8 of 13 on third down. They're 22nd in the league allowing points to cover, convert 41.1% of third downs. They're, the Eagles went 3 of 5 in the red zone. The commander's red zone defense isn't bad. They're 12th in the league. Patriots coming off 31-17 loss in Miami. Mac Jones had another subpar effort, 19 and 29 for 161 yards, two touchdowns in the pick. The playmakers were nowhere to be found. I mean, Kendrick Bourne led receivers with three catches for 36 yards and touchdown before leaving in the fourth quarter. Uh, he's a torn ACL. He's done for the season. Ramondre Stevenson, Zeke Elliott combined for 17 carries for 75 yards. The defense does not look good. They pick up J.C. Jackson to replace Christian Gonzalez, sure, but they can't replace Matt Judon. The pass rush managed two sacks and two quarterback hits. Kyle Duggar's doing everything he can, everything he can, but it's not going to be enough. He had nine tackles, a sack, and a pick. Uh, they're very good in the red zone, both offensively and defensively. And coaching can only do so much. You know, you know, the Belichick taking all this heat. I think he's getting a lot out of this bad roster. No, he is part of the reason why they have a bad roster. I and mean, these are a lot of his decisions that he's got to deal with. But they also have Devontae Parker and concussion protocol. This this wide receiver group that's been so bad now won't have Kendrick Bourne or Devontae Parker, most likely. Take it away for us here, Troy Commanders at Patriots. Yeah, this is this is an interesting one to me. I hear people talk about all the time in this industry. There's no such thing as trap games in sports betting, but if there is a trap game, this is definitely it because that three and the hook for the commanders on the road just looks so damn enticing to take. And uh, to me, it's apparently trying to trap action on the commanders because we know the commanders is going to be the sharp side in this game. Probably with massive splits, it'll probably remain that way throughout the entire week. 
but we're still going to get that three and a half. I mean, that just blows my mind. Uh, so just by in that line of thinking, I it's really like the Patriots are the only way I can look in this game. To me, nobody's sharper than the books. The Patriots got a little bit healthier over the past few weeks offensively, seemed to be a little bit more competitive on that side of the ball. At home, they've only had really one bad performance where, you know, they just laid an egg against the Saints. And uh, the Commanders coming off a closely contested game in Philly. And if you look at when the Commanders follow up after they play Philly, it's not pretty. Um, They do not fare well. And they have not performed well coming off, um, you know, young QBs don't fare well in Foxborough. I think they're five and, you know, I know this is with Tom, this could dates back to the Tom Brady days, but 35 and or 31 and five ATS against rookie quarterbacks or first year quarterbacks, which he hasn't had a full season of work yet, uh, Sam Howell. And the commanders are trading all their defensive pieces. So to me on the side, it's just a one way train. Uh, but what I do have is I'm starting to lean a little bit more towards the under in this game, uh, which I don't know about yet, but I was just looking through the database and totals that closed between 40 to 40 and 42 after a move to the over at pinnacle. As long as it don't hit that 42 number, 42 is the key one, in my opinion, before this trend gets a little bit more dirty, but it's still profitable. But totals that close between 40 and 42 after a move to the over are 17 and 7. That's 71% to the under. Well, the Sky Dragon loving that under, by the way. Says think he thinks it gets to 41 because the trades Washington made today, and at that point he'll play it among his favorite plays of the week, even if 41 never shows. Uh, Birdie says not a chance that Washington is the sharp side here. Well, that's what everybody's going to think. Everybody. So does this get to four? You know, I, I'm going to move on the commanders at some point. Uh, I, I do not. I, I think that they sent a message getting rid of Sweat and Chase Young. Chase Young's been trash this year. You know, the defense was better before he started playing this season. So uh, I think this is the perfect backstory for me that everybody's going to talk about all week. Commanders are giving up. Commanders are giving up. And – I'm going to back them here. I'm not going to back them yet. The whole world's going to be on the Patriots and talking about this all week, I believe. Uh, We'll see. Really? I think, you know, I just am thinking about my buddies and stuff who would probably want to take the commanders on this line uh, after how shitty the Patriots have been this year. Or maybe they're just scarred like me uh, because they followed me on some of the Patriots bets from earlier in the season. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a... It's definitely an interesting. What do you think about the under? I need to sit with this a little longer total wise. I just, I need to sit with what's going on at practice. What does that front group look like without sweat and young out there? What are they saying to the press? I just need to kind of sit with that before I have an idea of what the commander's defense is going to do, but I'm not going to, I, you send a message to everybody in the, on the team, and I, I think that helps at times. I, I don't think this is uh, completely giving up. I really don't. I really don't think this is. Oh, look, I mean, I'm not saying they're going to make the playoffs or anything like that. I mean, I you know they're obviously looking to the future, and but I I see a a group that can come together. I mean, do you think Chase Young was great in the locker room? I mean, it's it's hard to imagine that he no. is. No. It's hard, you know? Yeah, so, just, by, just based on his comments, I could tell you it wouldn't be a guy I would want to <laughs> – I wouldn't be looking forward to having in the locker room as a coach. No, Saturated said Sweat was beloved in that locker room. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure about him. I just – Chase. I'm thinking Chase Young and his impact. That's probably a addition by subtraction because he wasn't great now very well this season. I mean, to me, you know, based on his expectations, well underperformed. Uh, and Al Server says people were tweeting about sweat. So, I, look, I'm, I'm going to sit with this lo- longer, but uh, I don't think this is necessarily – look, their their defense without Sweat and Chase Young is going to be worse for the rest of the season. You know, that's an easy thing to say, but that doesn't mean it's going to be worse game one. That's all I'm saying. And – I'm I'm very interested in backing the commanders here, but you know this could be a four. I also want to see where the ticket count is and if if people start hammering the Patriots. Uh, Sky Dragon says trust the matchups with the defenses under. You know, uh, 
And Al Cervic says they cry early in the week. Game time, it's your job. Says next man up, it's your chance. Jared TG says Washington's heading towards the tank. Uh, you know, I, did, all of this has made me start moving towards going to possibly being bullish on the commanders this weekend. I'm certainly not going to do it now. I certainly want to sit with it and talk about it. And we'll get to talk about it again on Thursday's cappers contest. I would like to see where the line goes. I can't even believe this. This is crazy. This is crazy. Patriots at home past two years. See birdie. Is this eight? No trend. Does this mean anything to you? Patriots at home. The way the market has moved has been incorrect every single time. The way the spread moved. So if the spread moved towards the Patriots, it's been wrong. If it moved towards the Commanders, it's been wrong. So right now, the spread moving towards the Patriots, I mean, 8 no, that's pretty crazy. Well, I, I'm very interested in uh, – North Tennessee says Pats never get public love. Maybe they will now because the story of the Commanders giving up is going to be big. I'm very interested in the commanders. So, Jimmy, one thing I actually thought about that, I thought about that during this game, the public sentiment. And a lot of people play fantasy, and they don't know who Chase Young or Montez Sweat even is. Maybe Chase Young. I feel like Montez Sweat, like, I just feel like they won't be as savvy to to really be following that type of information. I don't know. It goes both ways. I hear you, though. I, I definitely see your case for the, for the Patriots getting some public love here. I, I just think that. the rhetoric of, of them giving up. Selling the bag, yeah. Will be big. We'll give you a nice juicy line to come in and swoop up at a four. Oh, because uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, under three, I would be on the Patriots, but over three, there's no way I'm back. I'm back in the Patriots, no way. Well, this I find this game very, very interesting, but I need to sit with this group now that they're moving forward with in their front seven. I need to sit with it, stare at it because look, I, you know, who, what's the biggest loss of these three? Cody Barton. That's the biggest loss. So, uh, and he's hurt, right? He went IR. So we'll 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 be talking about this game throughout the week. 